Welcome back, everyone. Um, this is part five of our tower defense series. Um, and let me just quickly show you guys what we're going to have soon enough, hopefully. So we can now drag and drop a bunch of things. Um, we're going to have our little tower guy being able to check if we're on dirt or not. So if we are, are, are on this uh, grass, then we can drop onto that um, otherwise we can't drop and it just gets deleted um, we can now shoot we can now also click and upgrade so we can now upgrade the range of things we have like a attack speed we have power and that we can increase which is awesome when I click it it disappears I can go here um, another thing I can do is if I have this guy selected and this I select this guy it unselects this one and selects this one instead um, what else I think that is it for now, um, we, but we have a bunch of stuff to do to get to that point. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, here's where we left off. Uh, hopefully no one got confused from my last video. I had uh, the thing on the left, um, but I kept forget forgetting to close the game, so it might have blocked a bit of the code. My apologies for that. I will probably just use screen share instead, um, but let's continue. So firstly, let's check, let's do the area thing. So. If we want to check for area, uh, the let's close this. We don't need this anymore. For our area here, we want to basically change the... We're going to edit the area depending on if we're on dirt or if we're on grass. So the first thing we have to do is be able to access our tile map. The reason is because that's where everything is. So if we look at our tile map, I have a very good... Um, tutorial on tile maps. I'm not going to link it because I'm lazy, but it's somewhere on my channel. It's about uh, isometric tile sets. You can look for it. Um, but to recap a lot of the things that we do in that video, if we look at every tile here, you can see the atlas coordinate. Every tile has an atlas coordinate. And we can basically check what atlas coordinate we're using in our thing. So uh, not here. We're going to be doing it in uh, here all this and open the script so we're going to be doing it here so when we drop we want to do something we want to check for something so firstly we need to be able to access the path so um the first thing i'm actually going to do is uh, we have variable current tile that's what we're going to be using so do let me just check okay so when we're dragging actually that's when we're going to be updating the current tile so we're going to get our map path first and we do that by saying map path is get equal to get tree, get root, get node, tile map. Very easy. Hopefully you have already known how to do that. And now the hard part, this one took me a while to do. I don't know why, but the tile, we're going to be uh, making it equal to the path, map, path, map path is equal to uh, dot local to map, get uh, global coordinates uh, position. You can also do event dot global position, but this works fine as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. So that's going to allow us to get the tile in a coordinate. Um, that coordinate is not the atlas tile. This is going to be the atlas. So there's another function that we have that is get cell atlas coordinates. So this is going to be the layer. Uh, we only have one layer in our map, right? So if we go to our tile map, you see layer zero. If you have multiple layers, that might matter. But in our case, we only have one, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we will also have tile. So the tile here. Uh, that's, you know, that's all we're going to use. Um, and then false is, I don't remember what this is. Let's see. It's not going to correct me. Uh, either way, just say false. Uh, I don't remember. You can control, uh, you can look for it in the tile map functions. If you go to the document right here and open it up and read through it, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm lazy and I've already done that. So now let's check the coordinate of what, of the dirt. So the dirt tile is... Which one? It should be. Ooh. Okay, no, sorry. We're gonna only want to place dirt on uh, our tower on grass. So the grass tile that we use is Atlas coordinate four five. So what we can do is say, um, while we're dragging, uh, we can say, if the current tile is equal to uh, vector 2i, 2i I believe is just uh, the same as 2, so it doesn't really matter, uh, 4, 5, which is the current atlas, the atlas coordinate, um, then we're going to get the area, actually, and we're going to modulate it to be green. And this is red, I believe. I could, it could be mixed up. But either way, now that we've added this, now when we're here, okay, it's black. <laughs> when it's here, it's red. Um, let me check what I did wrong. 
in the area um, of our tower, red bullet tower, we're going to get this guy and this should be red. The modulate should be like that. Why is the modulate? Oh, I remember. Sorry. I also modulate it somewhere in the script. Let's find it. No, sorry, that's the modulate. What about the color? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I think we'll just leave it like this. It doesn't really matter, but that's the point. Um, so now if the area is on uh, in here, then it becomes red. If it's on the grass, it turns black, meaning we can place it. So, and then we can start shooting. But if I try dropping it on the red, uh, it still places because when we are here, we need to also check for that. So let's check. So here in the else is when we can actually add it. So in the path, before we actually add anything to the path, instead, we'll do that right here. So we'll ask, is the current tile equal to this? If it is, then we'll do that. Um, else, we don't need to actually add it else. Otherwise, it'll it's already queued free we're done that's it uh, and then we're just going to get the area and hide it because in the end we want to hide the area um, let me just double check i've done the area right the red bullet um, here we go Doo -doo -doo. i believe for the area here in the style box this should be 245 250 and then Modulate. Modulate shouldn't matter. I don't know why it's modulating so thickly. It's very strange. All right, I'll, fi I'll figure that out later and we can um, fix that later, hopefully. Um, but yeah, now we can not place on dirt. So if I try to place on dirt, it won't work. Um, but if I place it on, whoops, if I place it on the grass, it'll work. Um, We'll be fixing all that shooting stuff later, so don't worry too much about it. Um, now, now we want to go to, we're going to set up a bunch of things in our tower. So we're not going to finish the upgrades today, but we're going to set up a lot of it. So let's close that. Or actually, let's open that up again because we need that. And the first thing we're going to do is add a node because the upgrade stuff that we're going to add, we don't want that to be move or we don't want it to move right so we're going to have to have a node as a base so we're going to have this node this is going to be upgrade i'm going to rename it to upgrade i'm going to add in uh not an area a panel this panel is going to be our general upgrade thing i'm going to change all the transforms and stuff i'm just going to change it to the exact same as my reference so 192 position negative that and you can just copy along as I do this. And then the scale, I'm just going to scale it to two. And then theme override, we're going to have to theme override and make it a little pretty because this is really ugly. Um, we're going to do flat box. We're going to go to, we're going to give it a bunch of stuff. We're going to give it borders and everything. So we're going to do five, 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 five. There we go. And then for the color, let me see what's the color I did. Uh, 49, 101, and 29. Okay. Uh, 49, 101, 29. Nope, that's not what I did. 219, sorry. 219. I just picked a bunch of random colors, by the way, so don't worry too much about making it look amazing. Um, for this one, I'm just going to do like this. I'm going to... Blend it now. So now it should look like that. And I'm going to make it somewhat modulated. There we go. And then for the radius, we'll do 15, 15, 15, and 15. So now here's our little upgrade box, our panel. So we'll call that upgrade. And now we're going to have a, whoops, we're going to add a H box. So this is going to allow us to put in three buttons. So I'm going to make a button. And let's style the button as well. So for the theme override, we're gonna go to styles. We're gonna go to normal, flat box, and let me copy everything I did as well in here. For the border, I'm gonna open up all 
these. I'm gonna do 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 15. I'm gonna blend it. We're gonna make, we're gonna have a random color, uh, light blue. And then for this one, we'll do like dark blue. And then also remember, we have to give it a minimum. So the minimum size is gonna be in the layout. So the, that is gonna be 125. And the X, Y is also 125. We also are going to have in our H box, sorry, on the side over here, we're gonna to go to theme override constant and we're gonna give it a size of 10. So now in our button, let's go back here. We're gonna give it a hover, but the hover, we're actually gonna make it invisible. So this is gonna basically take out our hover. Um, ooh, no, sorry, I lied. Not the hover, the focus. We want the focus to be invisible because that kind of bugs it out. This one, we're gonna have a, st a flat box. And this one, we're gonna have a flat box. So hover and press. So hover, uh, let's just do the same thing. So radius width, we'll do 15, 15, 15, 15. We'll blend it, 15, 15, 15, 15. We'll give it a random color, uh, we'll give it like up there. And then this one we'll do like a little darker. Okay, that's hover. And then for press, let's do red. Um, so we'll do like that. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. We'll blend it. We'll give it uh, a little lighter red. We'll do like that. Yeah, I don't know, good enough. Okay, so now let's um, duplicate this by control D three times, not four, three times. And the first one is going to be range. The second one is going to be attack, speed. And the third one is going to be power. And now we're going to move our box to be like that. And I'm going to move it. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to do align center and then separation will do like 20. Now we'll, we'll do it like that. There we go. I'll move that. So now it's centered. I'll move it up a little bit because I'm going to add a label under them. So let's do that. And then on each one, we're just going to add a label. And then this is gonna have a bunch of numbers. So let's just put in a bunch of numbers. We'll do center uh, and do this. We'll extend it. And let's duplicate this three times. So the third one will go to the, over here, to the power. Uh, this guy will go into the attack speed and we'll go here. And then we'll rename all of them just to label so they all have the same name. Okay, so now we have our upgrade box set up. Okay, so now let's actually just quickly work on showing and uh, making it invisible and stuff. So that's pretty simple. That's actually um, input event as well. So on our tower, we can actually go here and input event and connect that. And in here, um, we're gonna use the same logic as last video. So we can just do is if in bet, uh, event is input about mouse. And if the mask is one, meaning we click down. So that's how we quickly check if we clicked. Um, and then we're just going to do, 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 I'm going to do this first, and then also going to do, we're going to change the visibility to not invisible or not the visible. So for example, if it's already false, we're going to make it true. If it's true, we're going to make it false, if that makes sense. So we're going to take the upgrade, which is the panel here, and we're going to do that. And we're also going to change the global position because the global position um, is different because the node does not inherit position. So we have to change it manually each every time so we also have to do this in the ready function i believe let me just double check um uh, no you know what we don't have to um actually because we're going to make that invisible and now when i play and i put something and i click it nothing happens why is that that is strange why is that not working do, 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 do. Um, let's make this visible and see what happens Okay, so it's up there. The visibility is not working. Whoops. Um, let's check what's happening. Um, towers, main towers. Did I check that wrong? Nope. Visible. Let me let me add in this part and see if that's why. Do 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 do. Nope, that's not why. So why is that? Oh, I remember, ha, I made this mistake before. It, because our tower is a body, static body, it has input pickable, and we have to make sure that is true. Um, never forget that. 
uh, forget that all the time and it makes me go nuts. So now we should be able to click it and it'll change it uh, right next to it. Um, but by default, we should want to upgrade invisible. So now um, we will be able to do this. We'll be able to click it. And this last part that I added real quick um, without you noticing is it's basically going to take all the towers that we have. So we're going to, because we got our path here, we're going to go through all the children and we're going to basically just go through all of them. We're gonna ignore this line. We're going to make, go through all of them and make sure that they're all invisible. Now this line right here, so let me take out this and let's see what happens if I do this. Now, let's say I have two towers. I want to upgrade this one, but then I upgrade this one and I click it and it hid this one, which is awesome. But if I want to hide this one, because the upgrade thing's kind of in the way, I want to watch the game happen, I click it, but nothing's happening. Why? Because it's only checking if I click the other one. So the reason why we add this guy is because now we, we can check. We want to hide everything except for the one that we already have visible, right? So now we can hide everything except for itself, if that makes sense. So if I click on myself, then we'll make it invisible. So now that'll allow us to do that. So now we've uh, added our upgrade box. Nothing happens yet, but we'll be doing that next video. Don't worry. Um, let me just check if we have anything else. If I'm missing anything. Nope, I believe that is it for now. Um, the video is already 60 minutes, so we're gonna end it here. Um, hopefully you guys learned how to add upgrade box. Um, all that, all those labels. Don't worry too much about it. We'll actually, we'll be editing a bunch of stuff, so don't worry too much about it. But yeah, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me increase the size of this guy. If you were wondering, by the way, for the GUI input, why it was uh, not clicking all the time, is because of this guy, the collision shape. So now I increased it. Uh, it'll be easier to click on it. Yeah. Anyways, um, that is it for today's video. I uh, have a Discord. Go. Uh, go join the discord i have a twitch go follow the twitch um subscribe to my channel down below go comment go like it uh, that is it i also have a patreon don't feel obligated to do anything though uh but it would definitely help and i will see you guys next time Bye bye